Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com and welcome back. This is the second part of the video on relationship between the standard normal and the chi-square uh, correction. Relationship between normal distribution and the chi-square distribution. Okay, we uh, in the f first part of the video we had uh, answered question one. Now we're going to tackle this question two, which needs a video of its own because it is a bit more. There's more to it. So consider the independent variables x i, which are not normally distributed with mean of zero and variance four. Notice straight away now we are no longer dealing with a standard normal. And uh, we have uh, okay that's irrelevant to us, that's for the second part, part b. So solve for k for this expression. Probability that x1 squared plus x2 squared plus x3 squared less than k is equal to 0.9. Let's step back a moment. Recall first that problems of the form probability of something, a random variable, less than a number equals a probability. If we're given this value a, then recall that all we need to do is, oh hang on, all right yeah, um, if we're given this value a and we need to find b, all we need to do is look up the relevant stats table, a will be somewhere, say for sake of argument say it's there, and we look up the probability and that would be B, where I've just shaded. In this question we are not given A, we're given we have to find this thing called K, but we are given the probability. So it's 0.9. I'm just calling this whole thing Y. Less than K equals 0.9. But the story go is the same. We have to find use a relevant table given the probability, that's not 0.9 and we have to find out what is this value k. Alright, so we need to determine, to be able to, to look up the right tables, we need to determine the distribution of the variable and basically that's what that's what most of this is going to be about because the rest of this is easy. Once you know what distribution of the variable is, y, we just look up the table as we've done umpteen number of times in the past. So I've rewritten this question in terms of the more kind of usual notation we've seen. Probability that random variables so are y less than k equals 0.9 where y is this thing. Okay. Now, as soon as we see normal variables, variables which are normally distributed, which are squared and added together, we should think about this a chi-square. All right. So this looks like a chi-square three. But we can't just say it's a chi-square three. Why? because each of these xi's are not standard normal because although they have a mean of 0 they have a variance of 4 rather than 1 so they are not standard normals but we should be thinking along the lines of how, you know how can i rewrite this so that it is a chi square so some kind of transformation of this will look like a chi-square. Uh, well, let me uh, explain less and actually do more, and then you'll see what I mean. Right, so the idea is I'm trying to do something to this, but not change it, so that it's going to look like a chi-square. Well, how about this? Since Let's uh, tackle it. In, let's tackle it on the side here. S recall that to standardize anything, we take the random variable, we subtract the mean of x, the expected value of x, and we divide by the standard deviation of x, and that will give us standardized. 
score. So look at this x1. It is normal distributed, mean of 0, so subtract 0, divided by its standard deviation, which is square root of 4, which is 2, square. Now if I did that, this to here is now standardized, isn't it? But they're not the same because x1 squared is clearly not the same as this. But how can I make this same as that? So I haven't changed a thing. Well, I multiply by 4. Now, you have to agree that this first term and this is the same. Why? Because x1 squared over 2 squared is x1 squared over 4. 4 cancels out and they're the same. So I have not changed anything. But at the same time now I've managed to make this into a standard normal. So let's call this z1 squared. Now, let me do the second one. It's the same argument. z2 squared is also normal distributed, mean of 0, variance of 4, so if I standardize it okay, so now it's standardized but this and this are not the same thing so I can't exactly write equal to but I can write equal to if I multiply this whole expression by 4, because again the force cancels out so then this whole thing is the same as saying x2 all squared okay now if you've got that you should try the third term after pausing the video. Do the same. What expression do I get? Okay, at this point I'll just leave a dot 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 because that's the third term is for you to complete. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Continuing then. This second term is 4. Let's call it z2 squared. Standard normal squared. And the third term, which you'll have completed, you'll have found that is 4z3 squared. Common factor is 4. So 4z1 squared plus z2 squared. Come on, pen. Pen's finding it hard going. Hope you are finding it not as hard going. z3 squared. Okay, so this thing that I've got now is is still y, it, and it's still all this lot. However, what we can see now is that this is four times, and we know what this is because these are standard normals squared and added together. So we know that this is going to be chi square with three degrees of freedom. What this means is that, back to our original question, probability at y is less than k is the same as saying four times a random variable which is chi-square 3. Now, just to kind of limit notation, let me, for laziness, just write chi-square 3 less than k. That's a constant. It's not part of the table for chi square 3 table. Actually, I've got a better way to explain this. Let's forget about the probability. Let's just look at the inequality for now. And then I'll substitute it back into probability. Just want to limit as much notation as I can. So saying y is less than k is the same as saying 4 times a chi square, a variable that is chi square 3 less than k. So that must be the same as saying chi-square, something that is a chi-square 3, which is less than k over 4. Take that, that's not. Same as, therefore. Okay, so that's a step, step one step, here's another step. Now we can put the probabilities around it. So therefore, probability of y less than k is 
equal to a chi-square 3 variable less than k over 4 and now we can solve it this is equal to 0 0.9 so what this tells us this is basically we've done the hardest step that was it so you have to kind of follow what I've just done there and the rest of it's simple so what this tells us is that we need not the normal table but the chi-square table with three degrees of freedom we know the chi-square is positively skewed something like this k over 4 right and we want a point here such that the area to the left of it is 0.9 well 0.9 is most of the area so we are far down here so this to the left will be 0.9 like this and this value here, what we're looking for, is k over 4. And if you look up in the chi-square table with 3 degrees of freedom, you will find that k over 4 is equal 6.251. If you don't know how to do this bit, look back at one of my videos on how to read the chi-square table. And therefore you've got the answer, boring bit now really, k is equal to uh, about 25. Finished. So let's go back up. So it looked kind of complicated and it certainly wasn't straightforward. So how did we do it? Probability of a random variable less than k equals 0 0.9. So first of what we did is we just rewrote it so it's of a form that we recognize. I have a random variable just in one symbol to denote that less than k which we have to find equal 0 0.9. And then we saw that since this random variable consists of a sum of square normals we're thinking chi-square but we can't exactly write down straight away a chi-square because these normals are not it's not a standard normal so the so what we're trying to think is how can, should I rewrite it so it's standardized normal and this is how we do it and it comes out to be four times a chi-square 3. So if we just looked at y and said oh it's sum of squared normals it's a chi-square 3 it'd be wrong because it's actually it turns out to be here a number times a chi-square 3 it's 4 times chi-square 3. Okay once we've kind of ascertained the distribution of the random variable substitute it in like I did here and just into the inequality and just rearrange it so we've got the pure distribution this is four times that distribution so to isolate it we take the 40 to the side and now we'd know that which table it is we need to use and pretty much that is what we do for all similar types of problem so there is a part B to this question 2 part B if you want more practice have a shot at that and if you want even more practice I've got a page uh, with loads and loads of these for you to practice. Okay, all right. If you followed that, well done. That's quite. Uh, that's quite a lot there. Okay, have a go then.